Although tights were originally designed to be worn by men, yes, the answer is true. You can find out more about Martin's book, by the way. Check out his website, martinoffire.co.uk. Uh, and that's quite right. Men started wearing tights in the 12th century. This was around the time of Robin Hood. It was another 400 years before girls started to wear them, and that was only to keep you warm under your skirts. Uh, and indeed, it took until the 20th century, the start of the 20th century, as hemlines went higher uh, for tights to actually be considered the sole preserve of women. That said, would you therefore dare to dress your little boy or the old man in tights to keep out the cold? Dawn, Stephen and Martin's thoughts in a sec. Yours too, please, on the usual number, 0207 173 5555. As if there wasn't enough to worry about, this has become a major dilemma for some of the humourless posters on Mumsnet this week. Uh, one mother asked the Internet Parenting Forum for <coughs> advice because she wasn't sure if she'd be damaging her nine-month-old son <coughs> if she dressed him in tights during the... Do we let these people reproduce? I just find it extraordinary. <laughs> anyway. Surely there should be rules to stop them. Isn't that what contraception was for? Anyway, her comment, her question, sparked an avalanche of emails from many mums who reckon their boys were still in tights, the oldest being 12 years old. But not everyone was convinced. One poster known as Hully Gully said putting a little boy in tights will warp him for life and quite possibly make him a danger to others. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your face, it says it all, Dawn. <laughs> Although, I don't... I mean, she doesn't explain how he Are we talking about fishnet tights? Oh, no, 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 just tights, <laughs> tights, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Another poster felt it was something that should only be done in private. <laughs> uh, anyway, are tights any different from long johns? Because I wear a pair when I'm filming in the snow. That's not me, by the way. Actually, <laughs> I'll say that again. Uh, that's, that's, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Am I warped? <laughs> or a danger to others? Uh, fantastic. Uh, what about big butch rugby players, Martin? Oh. Do they yeah. come? Yeah. <laughs> they <have as> <laughs> I don't need to wear a coat, then, you see, because I've got enough body well, hats, so I, don't, I didn't even wear a coat today, this morning. Long johns keep you warm. Swear by yeah. Well, uh, I think we'll just conclude, therefore, that it's absolutely <laughs> acceptable. Um, I mean, do you think the mums here... I mean, I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely know? ridiculous. You, they're functional. It's not a lifestyle choice. <laughs> I wear them to keep me warm. And yeah. lots of uh, footballers, John Barnes notably, yeah, yeah. they wore Bruce them. Bruce <laughs> yeah. yeah. I still wear them today when I train. Different sorts of tights, you know, so uh, I don't think that's... Any mother would be doing anything I've to even child. started, and I must admit, I, 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 it took me a while to feel comfortable. I do quite a lot of hill walking, and I've started hill walking in, in kind of stretchy mm. lycra tights. And uh, I must admit, the first time you step out of the car, yeah. you know, in your walking boots with the old meat and two veg sort of half dangling <laughs> around, I did. Yeah, not the most comfortable of scenarios, but they're I, great. I did, actually go into Marks, I did actually go into Marks and Spencer's and TK Maxx to buy some. They were all sold out. <laughs> I had to go on eBay to get these. OK, what about little children, Dawn? Do you I think they could be harmed? I think it's more the, uh, this attitude of the parents that's harmful rather than the actual putting on tights to keep warm. Like, you just put tights on a kid to keep it warm in the snow. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't go, oh, is this right or wrong? You might be gay when you're older, I don't know. Am I doing the right thing? It's just, like, that's the problem. Like, does... Kids don't know. No. And the most important thing is that they, they're warm. I think this is the most bizarre... Thing to worry about you could do a TV parent. show about it. My breasts are killing me, my tights are killing yeah. me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. My tights are turning my son a tad peculiar. Yeah. Um, my Steve? tights are making me gay. I totally agree with uh, my colleagues on the panel. Yeah, when I was a kid, I wore tights. As an adult, I wear tights and sometimes wear tights, bra and panties. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Monty Python song in there as well, <laughs> somewhere. Uh, what about you guys at home? I, I know our viewers are much brighter than uh, viewers on other channels. Uh, Jeremy Vile proves that every day, so let's find oh, out. Yeah. Ooh, we have Paula on line one. Paula, good morning. Good morning. Can putting a child in tights turn them funny peculiar, Paula? No, of course it can't. <laughs> Both my boys have worn tights whenever it's winter time and we go to play in the park. And it goes on under their trousers, nobody knows. And so what's the problem? What about, well, I was going to say, why not, make, why not put them in a skirt as well and let everybody know? Well, it doesn't really matter either way. If my children want to dress up in their... and my boys want to dress up in their, their uh, sister's clothes, they do that too. And what about the old man? Do you, do you let him dress in a... <laughs> he could dress... wear a lovely blouse on the day if he wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Let's go to our audience. OK, next week's Francesca. <laughs> hello, so, hello, Francesca. Do you have any problem with boys or men wearing tights? Um, 
I don't think they should really because Why not? they should just be they should just be a bit hardy when they're younger and they'll grow up to be to get used to the weather. You're like you Randall Fine's parents. They used to roll him in <laughs> snow. They used to roll him in snow to prepare him for a career in the Arctic, even when he was about eight years old. You just think we should we should just grin and bear it? If they if you mollycoddle them too much when they're younger, then they'll grow it's up. Mollycoddling is keeping them warm. warm. And she's sitting there yeah, well, wearing trousers. Yeah. Yeah. She's sitting there. Yeah. 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 And you should be at TV. You should be doing the housework or yeah. something yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to stick to gender yeah. stereotypes. Yeah, but I'm not wearing tights underneath, so. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll take a word for it. It's a funny old world, isn't it? Funny it really is. <laughs> Very funny when you look at the audience. Listen, uh, let's wrap things up there. Why not? Uh, because that is all we have time for today. Beaten by the clock once again. And anyway, the tights are starting to make me itch. <laughs> uh, what can I say, Martin, except uh, what a fabulous guest you've been. Great to see you once again. Uh, I should remind everybody about the book, 50 of the Best. Uh, somebody's actually emailed him. I haven't got his name. He wants to, uh, Johnny Freeman wants to know if his dad... Johnny Freeman was a player where his dad's in there? Uh, I don't uh, think Johnny no. Freeman's in there, no. No, sorry. sorry. Uh, Dawn and Stephen, absolutely lovely week. Uh, Dawn, uh, enjoy L.A. Uh, with Thank your you. cat. <laughs> Quite mad. It's not weird! <laughs> <laughs> Just a tad. <laughs> and Stephen, and think, please, 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 if you get a chance, come and see me at the Hammersmith Apollo at the end of, the, of February. I would love to. Give it up for the panel, ladies and gents! <laughs>